Are you trying to grow food or grow broke? And could your grow lights end up burning your house to the ground? I'm Robbie with Fast Gardening Michigan, and I've been an IBW electrician for over 16 years now. So I wanted to make a video showing you an easy way to calculate your energy costs when it comes to grow lights. But before we start, make sure you pause the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and give the video a like. One of the things many people don't consider is how much it actually costs to run your grow lights. And it's definitely a cost we need to consider. I'm gonna try to keep this math real simple, and I'm also going to put the formulas in the description so you can fill in your own numbers. And you may find that some of these numbers are shocking. Step one, we need to find the wattage of our grow lights. Somewhere on your lights, you're going to see a label that gives you all the electrical data. If you look at this, it's telling me it's 120 volt, 0.45 amp, 50 watt, 60 hertz. The only thing we care about is that 50 watt. If you don't have grow lights yet, when you're looking at grow lights, go on the website, they will tell you how many watts the lights use. Write that number down. We're gonna use that wattage to calculate our operating costs, and we're also gonna use that to make sure we don't burn our house down. But before we talk about burning our house down, let's talk about the operating costs. So when you get your energy bill every month, you're gonna notice they charge you per kilowatt hour. One kilowatt is 1,000 watts. So real easy here, we're gonna change watts to kilowatts. For my lights, it was 50 watts. You take 50, divide it by 1,000, and these lights use 0 0.05 kilowatts. But whatever lights you're using, just take the wattage, divide it by 1,000, and there's your number. The average energy rate in the United States is like 16 cents per kilowatt hour. In Michigan, I'm a little bit higher than that, more like 19. And the price actually fluctuates throughout the day. But for this example, let's just use the average rate of 16 cents per kilowatt hour. So my 50 watt lights, 0 0.05 kilowatts. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna multiply that by the energy rate. So 0 0.05 kilowatts for one hour is gonna cost me 0 0.008 cents. And in terms of grow lights, that's really good. I've seen grow lights that use up to 4,000 watts, but we're gonna get to that a little bit later. So if it's costing me 0 0.008 cents per hour, let's just say I run my lights 12 hours a day, which is pretty typical in the intermediate growth stage. It's more like 18 hours for new sprouted seedlings. Let's keep it simple, 12 hours a day. Comes out to about 10 cents per day. I got that by taking my cost per hour and just multiplying it by 12. Still not too bad, 10 cents per day. Let's say we're growing something that takes about 90 days to grow to maturity. 10 cents a day for 90 days is nine bucks. My 50 watt shop lights are a little thin, so I'll run two of those over to bigger plants. So nine times two, 18. It's about 18 bucks for me to run them for 90 days. Here's where you can take your yields you get and divide it by your cost and see how much it costs you per pound to grow stuff. And the sad thing is, you're probably gonna figure it still costs you a lot more than just buying it at the store. Even though it's a lot more fun to grow it yourself, right? We just had a lot of numbers flying all over the place, but like I said, don't worry. Go to the description. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step on how to calculate these numbers. If you're in the market for grow lights, make sure you are getting LEDs. LEDs are the new standard for lighting everywhere. CFLs are old news. Don't listen to the HPS folks. That is dinosaur technology created by the devil himself. But what if you're growing something like the mature audience plant and you go out and buy one of these high wattage lights that everybody recommends for them? This kind of ties into the part about burning your house down. So what if you went out and got some 3000 watt grow light? How much would that cost you? And more importantly, how many amps is that gonna pull? When you take those operating costs and also factor in the cost of the seeds for mature audience plant, that turns into a lot of money. But there's something here that concerns me a little more than the money. It's the amount of amperage it takes to run a 3000 watt grow light. So watts equals volts times amps. Take 3000 watts, divide it by 120 volts, and you get 25 amps. Let's take a look at the old electrical panel over here. We have a lot of breakers that are at 15 and 20. There's no 25s there. Even if there were, you don't wanna go more than 80% of the breakers rating. And here's where things get really dangerous. Being an electrician, 
I've seen a lot of dangerous events, a lot of blow-ups. You don't want to mess around with electricity unless you are a trained professional. There's different size wires in your house. Each size is rated up to a certain ampacity. So for 25 amps, you're going to want number 10 wire. And most houses have just number 14s or number 12s. You'll have 14s on your 15 amp breakers and 12s on your 20 amps. So someone might buy this 3000 watt light, trip a breaker, and just throw a bigger breaker in there. And that's how you burn a house down. You have a breaker that's set to trip at 30 amps, but you have wires that are good up to 15 or 20 amps. So instead of tripping to keep you safe, the wire takes the brunt of all the abuse. When you overload a wire, it burns. And unfortunately, in most cases, in houses we have Romex or BX, it doesn't offer you a lot of protection. So you get wire that burns up and fire started in your house. If you get a fire in your house, you're gonna have a bad time. So before you go and buy these expensive high wattage lights, that's something you have to consider. As an electrician, I can install something to run 3000 watt lights, but it's really not necessary. With the LED technology, we can get grow lights that use less wattage and give us more light. So head over to the description and see how much it costs you to run your grow lights. Make sure you don't overload your circuits. Cause it's hard to grow plants when your house burns down. Thanks for watching.